Well, hello to uh, all of my subscribers, present and future. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, you're doing well and uh, things are uh, looking up for you. And you can find joy in wherever you find yourself. Now, if you were wondering what I've been up to, uh, well, I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. What's been going on and uh, what I've been doing and um, why I haven't been on YouTube. Well, the first reason of why I haven't been on YouTube is basically um, Jehovah God hasn't told me to make a video, so I really haven't, you know. Uh, I tend to take that stuff very seriously. And um, he's had me doing other things, you know. Which kind of is interesting when you think about it. When, when you spend your time on YouTube, when you watch people's videos, what are your intentions? I mean, what do you hope to do with the information you learn? Are you actually putting that to practical application? Are you actually um, trying to use that to become all things to all people? Um, or are you just listening for entertainment purposes? Or perhaps you're just bored and need something to kill a few hours or uh, a few minutes? as it were. Um, well, hopefully, you want to put things that you learn into practice and uh, see what kind of fruit that you bear. You know, uh, literally, what has been going on with me? Well, I've been um, teaching somewhat and uh, been doing some learning and God has been faithful to uh, basically take care of my day-to-day -day needs uh, both financially and sometimes medically you know here just recently I um, smashed my knee and I did a pretty good job about it and um, you know literally uh, I had to stretch out in faith and pray, and uh, God healed it. And also, there was the time I fell out of the shower. You know, um, <laughs> that was wow. That was something. Um, but praise God, you know, I'm uh, still here, and uh, I didn't go to the hospital or anything. Uh, literally, that's pretty awesome to me. And uh, also, um, let's see, I've been doing some gardening and some woodworking and um, in the midst of that, uh, taking care of basic day-to-day -day life, you know, uh, replacing appliances when they break, um, basically uh, taking care of my wife because she hasn't been feeling very well. And um, you know, things are going and getting better, um, but sometimes those things take time. And uh, he's teaching me how to spend my time wisely doing exactly what he wants me to do. And um, basically right now, that's um, deal with my family. Um, take care of my kids, take care of my wife, and uh, make sure they know how much I truly love them and appreciate them because if I get on here and tell you all how much I love you guys yet treat my family like crap then you know I'm truly a hypocrite and uh, that's not okay with me you know. um, just recently um, someone out of nowhere uh, when my wife was walking out of the Social Security office, 
uh, basically said that uh, God told her to pray for my wife, and um, so she did, and she laid hands on her, and, and um, my wife came home and said, hey, you know, uh, something didn't seem right. I hope I didn't do something wrong. Uh, I need you to ask God if I did. And so I asked God, and God said, okay, fine. Uh, no, her heart was in the right place, but if she wishes to tell you more, I'll let you tell her. I'll let, you know, I'll let her tell you. And I said, okay, that's, that's fine, you know. And later on, uh, she shared with me exactly what happened. And, and it went something like this. Uh, a lady out of the blue um, said some things to my wife and then laid hands on her and prayed for her. And as a result, my wife started um, having terrible pain in her stomach and around her uh, chest cavity more than what she's been having for the past couple of months, like nine months to be exact. And it got so bad, in fact, that uh, I actually had to pray um, that God would put a stop to it, whatever it was, you know, that, that he would deal with it so it didn't hurt, you know. And the lady said that, you know, basically God says you're going to be healed in three days. So she comes home and tells me this, and I, I'm like, well, if God said it, then who can go against it, you know? But if three days comes and goes... And, and you're still hurting, you're still sick, you're still in need of a doctor, then God didn't say it because, you know, obviously, uh, God is capable, God is faithful, and he's fully able to do exactly what he tells people he can. And um, so three days came and went. And she's still feeling bad. But she's not feeling so bad that it's... Uh, beyond her ability to cope. And through the grace of God, um, I'm learning how to be more loving and basically help her in any way I can. And also, um, she finally has a doctor's appointment, which is really saying something. You know, um, God has moved miraculously in the area of just getting people to see things um, in a way that helps her get the treatment and get the help she needs as far as um, you know whatever's going going on with her intestines because she's got some sort of blockage or something and um, right now we don't know you know we just we don't know you know I don't know how to be any more specific because I don't know and um, you know, when I pray about it, um, basically he's just telling me to trust him. So that's what I'm doing. I, I'm trusting him. And um, I know that he's faithful. And uh, so she's got an appointment in five days. And then we get to figure out what's wrong and what they're going to do about it. And uh, if they can do something about it, that's cool. If they can't, well, then I fully expect that God would step in and handle it. You know. Because literally, prayer is most definitely for what is beyond our ability to do. Okay? Well, anyway, um, I've also been trying to work on uh, putting some crown molding together. But uh, that's pretty much what I've, what I've been doing, you know, where I've been... Uh, how I've been keeping myself busy. Well, uh, that being said, uh, just thought I'd share that with you and share with you the fact that literally, by not wigging out, by not uh, getting all upset with this lady who laid hands on my wife, um, I get a blessing. Do you know how that is? Well, if you read um, the scriptures, you'll find a passage that says, Repay evil for evil to no one. If you Google that sentence, it'll lead you to probably somebody called Peter, perhaps? And um, literally, 
what he's getting at is literally that uh, in so doing, you will receive a blessing when you bless those who hurt you or do things that are, aren't very nice. You know, um, this is the kind of stuff that's been going on from time to time because, you know, the quickest way to shut me up or get me sidetracked sometimes is to go through my family. Which isn't very nice, but it, it happens. But through the grace and uh, grace of God, um, I'm able to pray for that individual, and uh, I'm able to tell them literally, if they see this, um, if you say something and it doesn't happen, then you're not hearing from God, and you probably should repent and ask for forgiveness. You know, uh, if you ask my wife for forgiveness, I'm sure she would say she would give it to you. As would I, because how you forgive, you will be forgiven. And um, I'm just thankful. You know, I'm thankful that he still hears prayer, that he still moves, that he still does many, many, many miraculous things. And um, I just, um, I'm thankful that I really do know him and I really do love him. And that can be seen, hopefully, through the way I conduct myself and from what I value most in life. Well, okay, guys. I'm going to uh, let you guys uh, have a nice night. Thanks.